please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. More on performance tires from a class Dave taught at a riding school at Thunder Hill. Now this is a prequel to the performance tire video we posted a couple of weeks ago because I thought I lost the footage, then I found the footage, so this turned into a prequel. Now this applies to performance tires, slicks and DOT race tires. Whoops, there's a bat flying around the shop. Got bats. He's flying around on the dark side. Crazy. Anyway, sorry I'm just being distracted by him. Is he going to come? Oh, there he is. Anyway, he won't fly to this side of the camera. He likes the dark. Anyway, it's a prequel. So it's performance tires. So these are slicks and what would be uh, DOT race tires, but also hypersport tires that you ride on the street but the, you get the most out of them at the track, or if you're one of those super duper elbow dragging canyon slicers on the road, this would be appropriate for you too. If you're just commuting back and forth on something, probably not so much great information for you, but if you ever wanna go faster and you wanna upgrade your tires and get some performance, then, then this will be interesting. So here's a preview. So I'm going to ask you which one you're going to pick, and then we'll see which one gets the most votes. Because if you put a bigger tire on it, it could push, push the front wheel further away and turn better. It could raise the front, not change rate control at all, and just be harder to turn. Control your weight. See what's happening underneath the inversion of the tire? Yeah. Okay. Stand up. Swap. Out of those two, which was the softer tire? Sit on that. You get to judge. No. First one, yeah. Okay, this is a race slick. That's interesting. Why is this carcass softer than this? It's 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 doing, it's doing this. It's getting wider. Right? And when you do that, look at the sidewall. See how it bellies yeah. and gets fat? So if you don't have the right amount of pressure, you're never going to get the right contact patch. Which is bigger? They're all the same size. See where this becomes a problem now? In this case, which tire, because this is a rear compared to the front and it's easier to see, which of these tires turns faster? Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.